How many are there? All of them. All right, got you. You better hurry up and shut the gate. Good, Captain. Woo! You know, over a, over a couple weeks, now, but this year we prepped, started prepping two weeks ago to catch them. Give me this. They come, you got all that stuff on that loafing shed, they just tear that up and put them in there. Yeah, yeah it's first year odds. <laughs> <laughs> That'll look cool slow mo. That was a, that was a good dodge. <laughs> you can dodge a chain. You can dodge a buffalo. Hey, I quit saying buffalo, though, huh? We're not gonna work them. We'll just run the red dogs through. I guess we have to put them somewhere for weaning. I put them right here. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. It's working day here at the lunch property at Mom and Kevin's. We're working the Dunbar herd. Some yearlings, and then we're working uh, two bulls. So we got our work cut off for us. We've got a whole crew here today. Everybody's here. So uh, we've got them caught, which is the number one thing. Kevin caught them last night and got the yearlings sorted, so we're ready to go. Hope you guys are ready for a good video.
Come on. Just let me get out of your way. Come on. Let's go. Come on, cat. in here the weaning calves okay that's perfect so there's only three calves that will go in there uh -huh. we only got three big ones i'll, I'll go down i got okay. time to go down i'll go cut or somebody can come with me well, i'll work this gate right here okay because the that will be open right kevin she weighed 930 okay that's good Was how much?
No, this is a grand champion. No. I don't know how Doc does this, but I'm going to try. Yeah, I hope I got it. Doc does a better job. You got hair follicles, though. Should be good. All of them. Where's Flo at, that cow? Oh, that's where you're at? Well, it's still where Red Dog's back here. Okay, all right. Mama, this is a mama we have to catch. We gotta squeeze her. Kevin, this is Flo, so you can leave that gate. Yeah. It's Flo, but she's going out there too. All the rest of them can go. What's next? You gotta see a little bitty calf? I think all Red Dogs are next. Okay, all right. And then Flo. Okay, like that. What's next? Just like that. Yep. Snifty. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Same pin, ready to go? Yeah. Oh, tag, I got tagged. Oh, you already did it. Well, Marissa's on it. She's on it. It's all right. It's all right. Get you taken care of. You got lots of hair in here. Good, Kevin? Yeah, let's get Dunbar worked. Is that all of them in there? They're all, there's no more animals? Okay. All right, guys, we just wrapped up uh, working the Dunbar herd. So everything went really well today. This is the first time everything went <laughs> actually relatively pretty smooth. It took us an hour and a half to work the herd. I think we had, I don't know, seven or eight people here helping and uh, got Chandler behind the camera filming everywhere and stuff. So everything went really well. And this is the fastest working we've ever had here. But we've got three calves in the weaning process now and I'm happy with the weights on them. We let the big herd back out. They go back out into the pasture. Uh, and then what we do is for our weaning calves, the mamas, we let the mamas still come up here and they still get to smell and touch noses with the weaning calves. So we leave a gate open so they can do that. But it was a successful working. You know, one of the main things about this was catching them. And we started this preparation two weeks ago of a routine basis of coming in here, letting them in uh, the, a lot, and then Kevin feeding them cubes, uh, you know, kind of starting this routine of, hey, you can come in here and we'll eat and, and do that. And then we actually, Kevin caught them yesterday, which is 
always a good start. If you catch your animals, if you catch your bison, uh, you're, you're off to a good start. And that's what happened. So Kevin caught the yearlings. We didn't have to run and chase them on foot. And uh, we knocked, we worked the yearlings. And I think at that point when we started, we were getting them in and out. So we were, we had them in a squeeze chute and vaccinated and out probably in less than two minutes. And that really hasn't happened here that much. Um, but we just wormed them, every single animal with an ivermectin and a sidectin. And then the calves, it takes them a little bit longer, the ones that you wean, because we give them a uh, triangle 10, and then we also give them a covexin, which protects them from black leg, uh, just like you treat with cattle. So uh, the calves get four vaccinations, the adults get two vaccinations, and then that vaccination is the main part, which is dewormer, and then the protection from parasites and diseases. So that is one thing that we did with everybody, and it went really well. So. These calves will stay up here and hang out for uh, a week or two, and then we may actually take them to the Ponderosa for the weaning, actual full weaning process. So one of the things uh, I did want to tell you about, Eleanor's calf, the little heifer calf, she got injured out in the pasture, I'm not sure, like within the past week or so. Well, earlier in the week, Kevin caught her, got her sorted into a pen where it was just Eleanor and her, her baby. And then I came over here and we actually ran Eleanor through the squeeze chute since we had her. We gave her her vaccinations and then we got the calf in. We don't know, but she's got some sort of injury on this leg. I don't know if it's in her shoulder, um, you know, kind of what we'd call our knee or ankle. It is swollen and she's been limping on it, which of course I showed you guys that. If not, you can go back and watch one of my previous videos. But she's still limping on it today. And one of the reasons we worked Eleanor is to because Eleanor is hard to catch sometimes. We had her in the moment, so we worked her, and we wanted, didn't want her calf to get into the, the traffic jam of all the, my big herd, my Dunbar herd, because she's already basically on three legs right now. We didn't want to get her in a situation where she could get hurt worse. So we've got her in here with the yearlings and her mama, so she's in a safe place right now. Kevin vaccinated her for some B12 and some antibiotics to try to help the inflammation that's going on. But uh, just by the looks at it, I don't know if she's getting any better. And, and it may be a situation where I have to load her up and take her to Doc Parsons, uh, to the vet. It's, it's one of those things when you single out bison and you, you take a baby, especially a red dog, away from mama, it creates stress. So it's a tough decision what to do with this, you know, this heifer calf. So we, we may have to take her to the vet uh, because if she doesn't get any better, it's just going to get worse. We probably have to do that, but it may create some, some stress, which can also cause more problems later on that they're being stressed out, especially as a red dog. With that being said, um, we're wrapping up here at the Dunbar Place at Mom and Kevin's, and we are headed to the Ponderosa, and we're going to work the 22 yearlings. I got my Canada yearlings and my Dakota Pure yearlings. And then I have the big Joe herd, the nine in there, and we got two calves. So we're excited to go over there. It's going to be a little different uh, system than last time. We've made some uh, little adjustments here and there to hopefully see if it works. The cage isn't built. It's not ready. So we're still going to have to get in and push them a little bit. But we'll show you that when we get over there. So uh, we're going to head to the Ponderosa. I had a lot of help today, and I want to thank everybody. Um, Kevin, of course, who helps me do so much around here and, and this whole operation, whether it's here at the Dunbar Place or at the Ponderosa. Thank him. He brought a friend. His name's Joe. He came, and uh, his first time to work bison. He was a great help. And, you know, if you work cattle, you can kind of resemble the two a little bit when he goes, comes to working them. So uh, thank Joe for his help. Marissa, of course, my wife, putting up with me. Uh, this is a stressful week leading up to this. And then we also had Chandler behind the camera. Cole couldn't be here. He's down and out with a pinched nerve. So I know Cole did a bunch of editing uh, for us and helped us make this video and put it all together. So I do want to thank Cole as well. And then I had a Bo Proctor, my buddy, that I used to coach with, good friend. And then we had one of my former players, uh, football players from Deer Creek come down. He's going to my alma mater, Oklahoma State. Well, Tyler is interested in raising bison. He helped me take Big Joe to get fertility tested. So I asked him to come help and uh, he's good help too. 
did a great job. I'm excited that he's interested in raising bison. Uh, we had Katie, my sister, and one of her friends, Evie. But I do want to thank Chandler for, for helping. Uh, Chandler had to basically make up uh, for two people today and move the cameras around and, and uh, got it all done for us. So I want to thank Chandler for coming up here and, and being away from his wife and his little dog. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon. Yeah, all the gates are open. Yeah, all the gates are open.